Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite the Explosive One. Jonas, I'm the man on the sticks. You're holding it in the playoffs. Play a Madden 20 in the four to nine nights, and we're in the playoffs, boys. Dude, you made it. You lost two games. No, Jonas, we made it, Jonas. Oh, I couldn't have done it without me. I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about the Watchers. Oh, you and the Watchers? Yeah. I'm just here for the ride. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> no. No, it's always us, Jonas. We, we, I think that's fair. But uh, yeah, we're we're uh, playing offense only, simming the D as always. Simming uh, it up. Oh, we are so good at simming D. I know, dude. And uh, yeah, we're you're playing on pro because you're not one. <laughs> Yeah, we're just hanging out, man. We were in San Francisco. We got a home game. People are licking their lips, ready for a championship. <laughs> this is going to be an easy game, Jonas. So I want some hot action. Oh, really? Some hot banter action Ooh. to go down, Jonas. Oh, my God. What you got for me? Give me something. Oh, my God. I don't know. You know yeah. I got all the pressure. Yeah, you do. Pressure's on, Jonas. Uh, oh, iPhone. How do you feel about dreadlocks? Jonas, you know what, Jonas? Um, how do I feel about dreadlocks? Yeah, that's like like my think? own personal take. Your own personal take on dreadlocks. I Look. feel like this is a similar question of like how I would feel about bald people, or how I feel about uh, mohawks, no, or how I feel about crew cuts. No, it's not a question about haircuts. I mean, I kind of feel like it, it is. is. It is isn't not. It, isn't it just a haircut? What I mean, I it? guess so. Oh, so there we go. Now we get down to the underlying. To the brass tax of it Yeah, all. so why is it just not a haircut, Jonas? I asked you a question first, and <laughs> then we'll discuss my take on it. <laughs> no, I want to know why it's not just a haircut. We, we stumbled on Because there's something. no cutting involved. It's a hair choice. Style. Oh, my God. Now, you, what are you, a phlebotomist? <laughs> that, you fumbled that, that you freaking fudger? Dude, you've never done that before. I know, right? Ever in um, your life. Why is it not just a hairstyle, Jonas? Is it is this, a hairstyle. Okay, so what's the it's difference between that and a crew cut? That's a style. You're not, you're not. A, <laughs> <laughs> Jonas, listen. They keep it clean. If you're taking care of your hair. You whether, smell the dreadlock? Jonas, if you're taking care of your hair, <laughs> whether you have dreadlocks or a mohawk or a ponytail, your hair is going to be fine. Yeah, what's if your you're not taking care of your hair, it's going to smell like poop. All right? <laughs> Fair. That's just how hair. Are you That's how hair serious? works. That's how hair works. I got you. So what's your thought on dreadlocks? That's the original question. I think it's a fine hair choice. Would you ever it have just, them? It just, let me finish. Okay. I think it's a fine hair choice. It just has a lot of work associated. But I understand if that's the aesthetic you want to go for. Okay. Would you ever have them? No. Why? Because they're too much work to take care of. Fair. Now, what do you, what, what do you think between like... The big fat dreadlocks, or like like the nice like <laughs> like font. the ish locks. Yeah, yeah, dude, like that's what I'm talking about. Why? But like the ones that are all like clumpy and like I mean, there's really no, some people have really nice dreadlocks, and they're like they're really like uniform, and they're really like yeah. I'm pretty. And other people, it's just like big old clumps of clumpy clump. I'm pretty. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that when they get to that point, that's a that's one of the telltale signs of like uh, not taking care of them as well as a person. Oh, Ooh. clump locks? Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Give me something. Oh, I feel you. <clears throat> so like the clump locks are a sign of like unkemptness. Exactly. Oh. They kind of they kind of degrade into that. Yeah, because I've seen some really good looking dreadlocks. Yeah, exactly. And those people are just taking better care of their health. I mean, there's people that you can tell whether or not they wash their hair. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, even people with like, it's hard with a crew cut. We, oh, look at <laughs> Carrie Kittle. That's what he does, out man. like Superman. <laughs> That's what he does, man. That's why he's on the payroll. He's just like, <laughs> good try. They can't even believe he called I know. That. He just slaps him on the shoulder like, good try, fam. Got you. <laughs> Can't stop me. Oh, stop me. Stop me. Can't nobody stop yeah. me. Lord, oh if I'm stop doing me, it. Stop me. Stop me. Please, somebody stop me. I hate that song. It made, oh, my God. Jesus. Yeah, Jonas, I'm just not going to sit up here and ish talk red locks. No, I wasn't going to ish talk me. You kind of said that they stink. <laughs> you made a generalization. <laughs> I knew what you were alluding to. I feel like if I jumped like on. 
I kind of feel like if I had jumped on and I was just like, yeah, dreadlocks are stupid, dude. Every, anybody who has dreadlocks is a big jerk face, and they probably smell like cheese and bread. Cheese? Wow, that'd be good, though. I like, I yeah. like grilled cheese. Was, if I had jumped on, you would have been like right down to just ah, Ishtar dreadlocks. I jumped on the train with you? Gee, they're not letting them run, Jonas. They're shutting down my you're part of the hate train doesn't mean I got to be part of the hate train. No. That's not that's not the case. I'm just saying is that I think it's a perfectly fine, and I think it's even pleasing to look at when it's done properly and yeah. taken care of. I think but it's just a lot of work. Uh, yes, absolutely. If they don't stink. <laughs> yes, if they take care of their persons. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if they if they maintain body hygiene, I'm pretty sure that kind of goes with everything. You're like now. it doesn't matter if they got long hair. <laughs> They aren't taking That's, care of their bodies. Yes, exactly. It's you. it's like the difference between getting like a plant and a puppy. You know, if oh, you, wow, your man. hair your hairstyle, Jonas. No offense at all, but it's more of a house plant. It's easy to take yeah, care right. of. You water it every day. You're gonna come out smelling like a rose. Some people have a puppy for a hair where <laughs> they have to like maintain it constantly, and you have to wash it. You have to take care of it. You got to use like nutrients and oils and special <laughs> special foods and all sorts. Exactly. Of yeah, I got you. Okay, I feel you. That makes a lot of sense. That, but that, all in all, Jonas, you know it's just what you choose to keep on your head. I guess. Yeah, man. dude. If like. Believe me, mine is pretty house plant. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, absolutely. trust me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a freaking ficus over here. Yeah, dude, I'm good with that. I don't like uh, I don't like having to do that. So. No, you you don't even go to the barber to get your hair cut. No, you might as well just go ahead and admit that. Yeah, I don't need to. I I do go to a barber to get my hair cut, only because I like like uh, strong defined lines when it comes to like uh my lines. Yeah, dude, I got you. Like you lined up. <laughs> don't, don't say it like we're in a Kype Williams movie. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's patronizing. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, you like to get lined up. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't poetic, this, Jonas. <laughs> oh, right. right. oh, my God. This isn't poetic. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Jesus. <laughs> Uh, I've been oh, in a barber God. shop before. I see. I know how people come in and talk. Oh, here he goes. He has one black friend. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Hispanic barber shop. Thank you. <laughs> no, it's fine. Dude. It's oh, fine. It's man. fine. It's fine. But yeah, no. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's uh. So yeah, yeah you you just you, I, I just think that like. Uh, Dreadlocks, way too much, way too much goes into that. Thank you for the touchdown. I'll celebrate this. Yeah, one. man, it's like what, yeah, exactly. What other hairstyles would take? I figure like even like having a mohawk. That's more along the puppy lines. That's like having a goldfish. Yeah, you, because like it takes a lot. Well, especially when you have like a really tall mohawk. Yeah, like if you just have like a little mohawk, it's not as bad. Yeah, you got to keep that bad boy gelled. But if you up, have right? like where the liberty spikes. Oh my god. You know, nobody walks around with those anymore. Have you noticed this? Yeah, it's a lot of work, dude. They don't sell Aquanet anymore. <laughs> they might sell Aquanet, I don't know. Uh, I'm more just like saying is that I think that was like a failed hair trend. Yeah, I mean, I've seen some dudes with some really tall mohawks, but not Liberty Spikes. Uh, but it seems like whereas Liberty Spikes, <laughs> if you saw somebody with Liberty Spikes in like the last five years of your life, <laughs> mind you, have I you feel been like the same play over and over again. Yeah, man, it's effing working, and I got a fly. Look at this. Uh, it's like, <laughs> just, I seem to think this is the same play you've ran like yep. 10 times in a row. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> it might just But be. If, if you see somebody with Liberty Spikes, they're not necessarily going to have like uh, the highest jobs here. Like, oh, I got you. As funny as it may seem, I feel like the dreadlock is more acceptable than accept- Liberty Spikes. Yeah. It's more practical, too. Liberty spikes. What? <laughs> Liberty spikes are just like. There's no practicality to that. Don't tackle me, dude. Call timeout. Timeout. No, that's the other button. Frick. Timeout. Okay. You have one more timeout left. You got 40 seconds till the half. All right. Uh, yeah, I just. I don't. I mean, Liberty Sp- Okay, more practical is what you mean. Yeah, like. By- it's like. One you of you them. can like put dreadlocks up in like a tie and like get them out of the way. Dreadlocks respect is just big and tall and like I feel like you're walking if you're tall and you walk through a door, like, you're gonna hit them on stuff. 
poke somebody's eyes out if you don't, if you like move your head wrong. Yeah, yeah. I really don't understand why you want that on your head. Because you want to be punk rock, dude. That's what it is. But it's just it's it's all just like based on like the, the culture of the music or People something. People just aren't punk rock anymore. They don't. I guess. Is I don't it, know. I'm is it being... like the music culture? Is that what it's is that what it's from? Yeah, it's like it's like equivalent to uh, you tatted your face and changed the culture. <laughs> but it's like you liberty spiked and changed the culture. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't even I can't even lie. That makes perfect sense. To me. <laughs> I knew you would get it. It makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> like I was, I was looking for like where it was the fit, and it just was not. It wasn't there. It was it's like, yeah. It wasn't in there. Like, That's a great example. This is actually what it is. It's like when you tat your face to change, change the culture. Lil Wayne did that. Yeah. Right? When you speak to me in like Wayneese <laughs> or Wayneian or something. <laughs> Wayneisms. <laughs> yeah. You're I like, get it. Oh. I got you. Bugatti. Bugatti. <laughs> you can't just say the name of a car. <laughs> You're just like, I got you. I got Honda. <laughs> Honda Accord. <laughs> See, little Wayne, Honda Accords. <laughs> yeah. He said it one time, maybe, in a song. <laughs> yeah. He's, I don't think he ever said Honda Accord. <laughs> I would bet. On I kind of feel like would have. He has a pretty high like. Uh, what is that thing where they look at like uh, the amount of like uh, unique oh. words in a song? Oh yeah, he uses a lot of words. He's yeah, not like yeah. a yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, Wayne uses a lot. Well, they do like of sometimes you words. see like on Reddit and stuff. They do those uh those like those those uh comparisons of like rappers and how many words they use in their songs. And Wayne is always like up there. Wu Tang Clan, I think, was one that was up yeah. really high. Yeah yeah. Like yeah. it was like a, a lyricist. Or a wordsmith, yeah, a word smith. And I'm not like a, I'm not a, I'm not in the Wayne Hive. Like Jonas may be. I'm not in the Wayne Hive either. You're I'm not in the Wayne Hive. No. You want to get in? No. I'm good. I'm good. Like I I've never listened to tons of Wayne. Your reward of a, a Wayneiac. Look at this man. Oh, you're a little Wayneiac. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Take your say your prayers, I'll eat your vitamins, it. flex your muscles, tat your face. Yeah, man. I, Wayne is definitely like one of my top five. I'm not gonna do a list. No, I'm not gonna. Do no, it. I don't. Yeah, sorry. but it's like he's one up of my, there. He's top up five there. rappers. Of, yeah, of my life. As far as rappers go, I prefer lyricists over anything else. I like the clever wordplay and like. I respect that. Yeah, that's that's the type of rap I like. The repetitive, like, same words over and over rap, I'm not into that. <laughs> I kind of like it. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. It, I mean, it all has its place. It's Please! Just, I just tend to like people who are, like, use it for an outlet to be, like, creative and wordy and things like that. Respect, Jonas. Yeah. It, and it is whatever you like. Man. Yeah, exactly. If you just want, like, a good beat and, like, repetitive words, great. Do it. Hey, stop it. <laughs> yeah, I need me some little Uzi Vert in my life. I don't care. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with yeah! that. That's why, he's, that's why he's famous as F, dude. <laughs> exactly. Because people want to do that. That's why if, if you think it's so easy, we should just get our bars down. They don't even you, have to be you know, clever. You know what that's great of, too? What? There's There's children's books. And there's advanced literature. Yeah. So there's there's rappers who use five words. There's rappers that use a thousand. Same difference. <laughs> so what do you? Who cares? Right. And see, and to me, this is like the point we were making on the other video when I was like, we should just turn into a little girl princess party <laughs> channel. And I was like, if we took off as little girl party princess channel, dude, then I feel like we just need to be little girl party princess channel. I'm not gonna. I, I agree. If that happens, I'm. It is what it is. But I'm not gonna put plant the seeds to make that plant grow. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, be cool. It, no, <laughs> not, I, I note to self. I don't know what if, what you think is cool. <laughs> think cool. No, listen, <laughs> hold on. I just feel like it would be a wholesome way to to come at the youth. Because I feel like in our videos, Jonas, we're uh, we're pretty PG thirteen. Oh, we're not, oh yeah, we used we, to be we very get, R. Yeah, <laughs> we 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 know that. Now you want to go G? <laughs> You're trying to go G on it? <laughs> I'm just saying is that I think we have the potential to be completely <laughs> wholesome. Here would be our video. TNT today watched the video of a fox on the internet. He oh was, boy, he was a fox. Prey. <laughs> 
By prey, I mean nuts and plants, because he wouldn't harm a soul. Exactly. Like me. I wouldn't harm a soul either. <laughs> dun, 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 Tell your parents dun, dun. you love them today. <laughs> we don't hurt the animals because they're our friends. We love our parents and our friends. See, Joe. <laughs> See, we're already doing it. I freaking hate <laughs> So, Jonas, like I said. Let's do it. <laughs> let's I'm sold. Do I'm sold. Let's go. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so going back song, I'm in. going back to what I was saying I'm more than more than comfortable put some some uh just some just don't your mind listen to the music type rap out there Jonas as well as I am to put up some lyrical miracle spiritual oh, lyrical I see what you mean. so like so like you're saying that even though I would prefer to do wordsmith I should be okay with just putting out like some some repetitive I mean, you got to start with children's books before you write the novel. I'm not even saying <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm saying that if, you know, if the world gives you a, a hand grenade in the form of Madden or in the form of like, excuse me. anything else, you know. Set it off? Yeah, I don't know. I'm you, just saying, like, if, it, if they watch the good stuff, Jonas, if they watch... If they watch the uh, the Pretty Princess episode, they watch it. If they listen to the numb minding, numb mind, mind numbing, mind numbing, numb rap. minding, same difference. Jesus, man, you got me talking and trying to win games. I, uh, <laughs> I, it's all right. You, you I'm working on one. it. I think you got this one locked in. I'm pretty sure I do too. But if they listen to the mind numbing rap, then we shouldn't give it to them. <clears throat> I, I guess. I mean, but you got to put that as the, the spot of them all. The hottest pot of the pot pots. The pot spot. Hot Get off pot. of me. Why am I running backwards? Because <laughs> uh, that's what happens. Nope. <clears throat> I don't know, Jonas. I'm just open to try more things than you. Apparently, you don't like kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it makes you a, so. a, a child racist. Char child racist. <laughs> Congratulations. How does that feel, Jonas? Um, How does it feel to hate um, love? <laughs> wow. I don't, think, I don't know what's worse, you saying that I hate kids or that you're associating not like the kids to hating things. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's like, obviously you don't want to deal with children the way that, that, you know, like everybody else does with love. Oh, everybody else like, just wants to make kids content. With love, respect. Love and respect the children. <laughs> All right, Jonas. These guys are pissing me off. I'm gonna have wow, you, know you did the right. P word? Yeah, they are, Ooh. man. They're blocking. You, you are Kelly'd all over us, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's what you can expect. <laughs> no! Time out! Why didn't you call a timeout? I don't know, because it doesn't matter. <laughs> You're trying to wait and get the clock to go down. <laughs> oh, they called the timeout. I thought if I called timeout when... Uh, they called the timeout. Okay, so I can punt it, right? Uh, yeah, it's probably gonna go in the end zone. Don't do it full strength. Do it like partial. Boom, Jonas! How close is that to where I needed it to be? Pretty close. Oh, pretty close. Yeah. Pretty close. A little over. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jonas. Fine. No, no children songs. Jonas, yeah. we could just come out with children song rap. We could Children's just, song rap? Yeah, we could do like Kids Bop, but our that own would, like I, That I may be all right with. Wait, okay. Hold on, Jonas. We're appealing to the same demographic here. What no. do you think our first music video is going to be? It's going to be what we could essentially do on the channel. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's going to be. All right, man. I got you. All no. right, Jonas. So fine. I'm not doing pretty princess shit man. stuff, man. <laughs> See? See what happens. See what you've done to me. <laughs> I haven't done anything. Do to me. I'm way over We're here. Way, the video's way at the end. We're good to say that. To say that. <laughs> I just want to We know. try, man. I can't. Every episode, there's one. There. Nah, it's there hasn't been, you. Haven't been for the last couple here. Oh, we're good, man. Yeah. I don't know, Jonas. I think the pretty princess idea is this something we should look into. Uh, no. There's lots of grown adult males who watch Pretty Princess videos doing child related uh, content. And that's good for them. Or child oriented content. I'm so happy that they want to do that. What is what's the basis of our demographic, Jonas? Do, probably, we, do we have a demographic? Probably. <laughs> There's like seven of them. It's like, yeah, <laughs> out of the seven, it's like, I think it's like 
teenage <clears throat> to early adult men. <laughs> really? Like 18 to, eight, 13 to 17, 18 to 24. 18 to 24, I think, is the major. Wait. Oh, uh, my God. I think 18 to 24 is the major, but yeah. I think a lot of people on their YouTube accounts Why? say that they're 18 to 24 when they're under so they don't get restricted content. So I think it's a lot of like 13 to 24-year-olds is my guess. That's probably 75% of our demographic or all 13 year olds probably because <laughs> that's our humor so. yeah. <laughs> all right everybody we won we're on the way to the nfc championship so what was that <laughs> we're on the way <laughs> i was gonna say the afc and it was the nfc <laughs> okay to think, think and speak at the same time but that's all the time we have for today's episode please make sure to like and subscribe uh, if you've already done that just do more things for us tell your friends but for jonas and tnt dynamite we will catch you on the next one in the nfc championship game we are out.